Okay, some experiments in here, and there's also an entire row of uh, consignment and order for someone, so I can't show you yet because it's supposed to be a surprise. So we'll videotape it and put it all on later. So this will be sort of a chopped up video. And here we go, it's still quite hot. Okay, this was an experiment for, um, somebody wanted a, a drape salad bowl. This is their drape salad bowl. And they wanted it in black and white. So um, I, I experimented with this mat and I don't like it. And that's snow. So I'm just trying to figure out how, how to do it black and white with the stripe down the middle. Um, I'm going to get a different brand. It was a um, black mat. It's a um, Amico. If anybody knows of a black I can use, would obsidian maybe look better? But I'm not happy with the mat. I don't like that effect. And uh, that was experimenting how I was going to overlap. And I'm not happy with that either. But it's just my experimental piece. Um, this is, I've got as a prototype for um, a workshop coming up. I just got little cookie cutters and um, cut these shapes out of them and dipped it in Norris Blue and it crawled. So um, I'm going to dip it again or just paint on there and fix it. But it, that's kind of neat, eh? I guess you can put berries in it and wash it anyway. Lots of that kind of thing for workshop coming up. Um, colors. Blue Lagoon. Um, satin Orbe on the top and textured turquoise. Blue Lagoon, textured turquoise, satin Orbe. Uh, two coats of each. I like that. That's how I was hoping it would be. I love it. I love that satin Orbe over the top. That is part of this right over here. There it is. And, and it's a plant pot. I did one before and it sold really quickly. And, and Oh, but it's not bad. Give a little wipe. That's really pretty. Um, honey flux. And there's some Merlot in there and blue reptile. Cool, eh? Okay, and I'm going to see my girlfriend, Chris, tomorrow. So these are for her. Um, this is still a bit hot. Okay, it was all um, blue reptile, all smoky Merlot, two coats of each. Uh, indigo float and drippy oatmeal on the edge. That's pretty. Brown clay. It's um, mid-smooth, no-spec um, Tucker's clay. Nice. For all those who are blue bananas, there you go. Quite pretty. And I had a special order. Somebody ordered eight um, extra-large shot glasses to look like Northern Lights. So how's that? How'd I do? So obsidian, um, Merlot, Indigo Float, Streaky Streaky, um, a whole lot of... Um, seaweed because northern lights are quite green um kind of layering off and on inside and out i'm really happy with that that's exactly how i wanted for northern lights northern lights northern ontario there's a family that's going on a canoe trip and they wanted to <laughs> cheers in the canoe <laughs> oh so good that's great northern lights Oh, they'll be so happy. Yep. Hey, how's that? Oh, and this is my little buddy. Okay, oh, his name is on there. This is for Riley. You can hardly see his name. I tutor a little guy named Riley, so I made him a mug. <laughs> and uh, same color as this. It is River Rock and Texture Turquoise. And it's one of my favorites. Turned out browner. Oh, I know why. It's the clay. I use brown clay. Nice. Very nice effect. Okay, soap dishes, vert luster. I um, incidentally painted the bottom as well, so I put them on stilts so that hopefully it'll still stay flat. And um, interesting, vert luster and oatmeal. I think I put extra coats on there because it's a bit darker than the last time I did that. There you go, soap dish. This is, oh goody, look at the oil spots. Guess, it's uh, rainforest and snow. Oh, that's lovely. Three, four thick coats of rainforest, two perhaps, maybe three of snow. That's what I wanted. I wanted that look, cool. 
Okay, that completes my sushi set. Nice. That's Capri. It goes with my other pieces over there from from a few films ago. Perfect. Sake glasses. Oh, cool. I think that's just um yeah, that's just river rock and textured turquoise, but oh my goodness, can't go wrong. Especially on the brown, that's cool. I usually do it on the white, but there's something just a little richer there about the brown. Cute. Okay. Um, that I just fixed up. I put a bit of a flux on it. It's almost exactly the same as when it went in. It's fine. It's just um, pink opal and uh, galaxy. It's fine. Okay. Same thing. River rock. That's so pretty. Oh my goodness. And texture turquoise. And another prototype. Oh, that worked out. Prototype for my um, pottery classes. So I got these little cookie cutters um, for them. And those two in three different shapes of hearts. This is on brown clay. That turned out. I like the little holes in there. Just cut them out and place them on. There's quite a bit of a roll of texture on first. And there's quite a bit of scoring and slipping when you place these back down. Um, just so they'll stay. But the holes in it are intentional in case you want to rinse your berries in there. That's pretty though, eh? That worked out. How's that for a workshop? OK, 